What's up, YouTube? We got a yo yo review to do today. This is the Bat Squatch from PDX Yo. So, Bat Squatch, second yo yo from PDX Yo. First, they did the Swamp Monster. Next is the Bat Squatch. Uh, the pre orders were already closed. The last round of reviews you saw were about pre order time. Pre-orders are actually on their way. You either have your pre-ordered Bat Squatch, or you're about to get it, and it is in the mail. Uh, and I gotta say, I think this is my other favorite buy metal of 2019 because I freaking love this thing. Let's get into the specs. 7075 aluminum with copper-plated stainless steel rings, at least on this one. One of them is black. It's an Oyesio edition, uh, also very cool. It is 44 millimeters wide with a 54.5 millimeter diameter, with a 4.35 millimeter gap width. I actually kind of like tighter gaps. That's just me, but I'm just, it's, it's really good because it's got good pads in there as well. But we'll get into that. Weight 63.3 grams, designed in the USA, manufactured in China, and it is just a, a sight to behold. I love this color, this green with the gold and the mm, mm, mm. This is one of the colors you can, that uh, will be up to buy. It should drop, today is Wednesday. I'm thrown off by the holiday. Today is Wednesday. It should drop Thursday, at least so I'm told. Uh, it's going to come with zipline strings, and uh, it'll come in a nice little little box here. It'll have some cool art. Uh, just a just a cool yo-yo. Such a cool, neat, interesting yo-yo. It's a nice organic shape, um, very reminiscent of you know, lots of like the one drop 54 and lots of things like that. Here it is, size-wise. It's a very not small, but very standard type of shape. It's not a big organic yo-yo. It's a very standard size, a little bit on the medium small side uh, for yo-yo. Like very, like lots of, um, like lots of organic yo-yos. This seems to be that like sort of 54-ish diameter type, uh, 44 millimeters wide type of yo-yo. Seems to be a very common size. It's a medium size, uh, what used to be full size uh, for a yo-yo. Here it is next to a Tie Vader. You can see there. Here it is next to the author. The author's a little bit wider there. And actually, about the same size. So almost the same size, about the same size as the author. Very cool. Stainless steel rings that are copper plated, and then there's the black one too, but the other two colors are copper plated. Links are all down in the description how you can get one of these. Uh, they should be up for sale. The first drop starts Thursday or tomorrow after you're watching this. But let's go ahead and throw this around a little bit. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I really dig this yo-yo. All right, I'll show you what the Bat Squatch can do. So first thing you're gonna notice is it's got some power but it's also kind of nice and light as well. Uh, being a bimetal, it's not very floaty. Usually you would think that like a, uh, a yo-yo like this, an organic shaped yo-yo would sort of be kind of floaty. This is actually kind of a faster playing yo-yo. Definitely nice and light. And uh, really just kind of tumbles along nicely there. Super long spin times, crazy stable. But still kind of chill, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's the organic shape. Maybe it just makes me feel like it's a chill yo-yo. Definitely pretty chill and fun as well. I really like how this feels on the string. You kind of get, it's light and nimble, but also like you feel the power as well. And then you got the nice, comfy, soft, organic shape as well, which is, of course, awesome. No snags at all. Really nice response. Comes back when you want it to, but doesn't snag up on you at all. Uh, the blast on the 7075 is very nice. It feels really good. It's like, it kind of feels smooth because it's sort of a harder aluminum. Like, you could tell it's different feeling than a 6061 blast would be. 
but it's still very nice. It grinds really, really well. And because you get all that extra power and stability and stuff, it's nice too. It just it feels nice to grind. You could definitely get your thumb in there. Get some good thumb grinds out of it. Try that one more time. There we go. Thumb grinds, very doable. And uh, finger spins, there's nothing to stop you. So you can really get your finger in there. You're not going to get any like locked in long term finger spins. But nice and smooth and blasted on the inside. So if you don't drop it, you can definitely get some decent finger spins out of it. Handles speed, handles regens. Kind of wants to almost like correct itself on the plane. And it's very controllable. Like it'll go pretty much wherever you want it to go. And do everything you want it to. I really like this Yale. I really, really like it a lot. It's really fun to play with. In that sort of like, this organic yo-yo is fun to play with. But at the same time, it's like, it <laughs> doesn't have any of those downsides sometimes that organic yo-yos have, like low spin times or poor stability or poor control of the like, tough to keep on the plane and what have you. This stays on plane very well, but it's still fun to play like an organic yo-yo. Uh, but let's go ahead and take it apart. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, let's take the Bat Squatch apart. Comes apart very nicely. Very solidly machined yo-yo. Uh, this and both uh, the Bat Squatch and the uh, Swamp Monster have been machined very well. I'm not sure where he's having them machined or how much he's paying to have them machined, but solid machining. Solid machining in China. Uh, I think this is exactly the same one that Nate reviewed as well. But anyway, let's take a look at it here. So you got your standard sort of organic shape rounds up and then swoops up before the response there you can see yeah you can there's like a nice little like rounded over lip before the response to that makes it feel nice coming off of the string very smooth very just doesn't nothing catches you don't get that little ping or anything and i think with an organic yo-yo particularly that's very important it just kind of helps the whole smooth flow of play that you kind of want or that you would expect out of an organic yo-yo. Uh, 7075 aluminum is great, nice and thin, uh, but also blasted very well. I like the blast a lot as well. Uh, the rings are on the inner part of the cup and you can't feel them when you thumb grind. Like it's, they only go to here, so you thumb grind behind it. It kind of almost creates like an IRG with the ring, which is a really cool design element. I really like it and it's a very nice sort of pressed in fit, everything fits nice. This is very smooth yo-yo, super smooth for a bimetal, uh, especially a bimetal with uh, copper pl with the plating on the rims, so these are copper plated rims. Stainless steel, copper plated. Uh, really cool, uh, it's a cool design. I like the little cuts on the inside there, that looks good. And uh, there's gonna be an OESO version that's purple with black rings that, I mean, you can look on the site, it's down there. That's going to be cool. I mean, that's going to look cool. So, that's coming as well. Just a solid yo-yo overall. Uh, so let's do pros and cons. Pros comes out tomorrow. Or, you know, if you're watching this on the day that this video drops. But it's coming out the 5th. September 5th, 2019. This bad boy should drop on the pdx-eo.com site. Um, great blast finish. Uh, 7075 aluminum, really solid construction. Uh, I like the ring. All the colors really are very appealing to me as well. I think, you know, they sort of have this monster element. First, they did the swamp monster, and now they're doing the bat squatch. So they've got this sort of like monstery element to their yo-yos. And uh, I like this green with the gold. Uh, there's also going to be a silver and a gold, and then, like I said, purple and black. That'll be oh yes yo. Just very cool, very batty. Um, Nice organic shape, standard type of organic shape, uh, but it doesn't have a lot of the problems that 
you would get with an organic like lower spin times or less stability or difficulty staying on plane. Now it's not as floaty, maybe that's the only con, is that you would think that maybe an organic yo-yo you'd want to be a little floatier, but it's very, it plays very light. And to me that sort of almost balances it out uh, as far as the floaty factor is concerned. And uh, at 63 grams I think this really, really is a nice balance of power, speed, stability, uh, lightness, nimbleness, and it's a great size. It feels great. It catches great. I mean, it's really just a fun and a nice yo-yo to play. This is like a yo-yo that I've had with me a lot. Uh, I've been carrying it with me to work back and forth. I actually kind of lost it. I forgot it was in my bag at work. So I had to like pull it out like, where did it go? Where did it go? I was just playing with it the other day. Oh, right. I was playing with it at work. So really a very nice yo-yo. Uh, comes out tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be $105. For a bimetal, that's not bad. Um, I think it's a good price for this, 7075 aluminum, uh, brass plated rings. Uh, you're, I don't think you can go wrong. If you're looking for a, a cool bimetal uh, in the $100 price range, it doesn't get much cooler than this. Uh, these are super cool. Uh, I really, really like PDXO. I think they do great work. Uh, I think this being their second yo-yo, both of them have sort of knocked it out of the park. Very outside of the box thinking, not like anything else you have already. Uh, just a cool twist on what's already uh, a pretty popular and a pretty solid design. Uh, I like the ring. I just like the way it plays overall. It's really good. Uh, usually I don't like bimetal organic yo-yos. Some, it's just something feels off on them. Uh, but this really puts the balance together really nicely. It's really nicely balanced. Uh, it's still a very fun yo-yo, but at the same time it's very stable, very long spinning. So, you know, you could use it it's just kind of a chill yo-yo, or, you know, you could just bust it out, use it to learn tricks, because it's really stable and it really spins a long time. So I really like this yo-yo. Uh, Bat Squatch, check it out, PDXYO. PDX-YO.com drops tomorrow. Uh, links are down in the description for Instagram and all of that jazz. But that is gonna do it for me today, guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.